Hey, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner, and we're home. We're back in Jacksonville. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so glad to be home. We're back. We're so home, we're home, we're home, we're home, we're home. So y'all can know when this cup is empty, it'll be time to poop. According to my cup. Ah, uh, yeah, I got him that as a joke. Somewhere inside the, the, man, the mall. Yeah, the Oaks Mall. The Oaks Mall, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I just... Cheers. I'm slowly waiting for it to finish. I'm almost done. But, aside from our welcome well, back Well, talking about our trip a little bit last night, I didn't get hardly any sleep. Okay, the way we were staying at the sleep in, here's the first floor. We were on the second floor, but there's a third floor and a fourth floor and all that. No, it's three. So, three, uh, yeah, that's and fine. Huh? all night long, walk, walk, walk. These people can sleep above us, so... Walk, walk, walk. They had the TV on all night long. Those rooms, those, those floors, we pay all the money for hotel. I'm even soundproof so all night long. Walk, 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 walk. And when you walk on the floor there, you could feel the dips in there. Like, oh my goodness, I'm going to fall to the floor or something. <laughs> and I thought, if they had carpet there, you couldn't have felt that. It would have been better. And it would have been more silent up there. But, oh, Chris slept. I didn't. I slightly slept. I, got, I managed to get some sleep. But... Aside from that, there's also a product test. But an upside, we're home, we'll be in our own beds tonight. Thank goodness. Okay, on other news, Chris gave oh, me we got a present. Got a friendship necklace. We got it? a friendship necklace, which means BFFs forever. And so, they would go together. Yeah, and to make a little, they would go a little best friend hurt. It just goes like that. Let's see. Okay, and now... Well, we're home. Uh, we got here. A funny story. We, st the first thing we did before we came home was stop off at Dunkin' Donuts. Donuts. Yeah. Then told them. And we had to have some hot chocolate and donuts. After a talk to Dunkin' Donuts about they should go to Walmart. And we told them they should they should outbid, and the other restaurant in there and take their place. <laughs> so we would have something better. <laughs> but for dinner, we're in poor plane. And then we went to the pawn shop to look around, and they were having an auction, oh, man. which we both won, and we passed on the item. A man's ring. Like, what am I going to do with a man's ring? My son doesn't wear a ring. This is a man's wedding ring. And then, okay, funny, funny story. Okay, I won it. I passed on it. And then the other guy said he didn't want the TV because he had four at home and was going to swap. And so then he said, well, let me look at the ring. He didn't want the ring either. Then the guy he said it. if it was a woman's ring, he would have got it for his wife. Then I won, but I didn't want the ring. What am I going to do with the ring? And then they kept going person after person after person. And this one guy said, are you crazy if I come home with that? My wife would kill me. And almost every dude was afraid. And this one guy said, if my wife put the wedding ring on my finger, it's fine. But if I put a wedding ring on my finger not from her, I would be... In deep, but there's a line, deep man, no, trouble. not the cross, and that's just one of the lines. Yeah, he said if it was a woman's ring, he said, yeah, you know, the guys could give it to her, but they didn't want the man's ring. I didn't want it, and so they couldn't, they couldn't even give it away. Okay. They couldn't give it away. We left, and they were still calling more people, hoping somebody would take it. They wanted somebody to give fifty dollars for the ring. Yeah. So they wanted to give us. $50 for the ring, so no, nobody took it, so we left. So now we're here to the product. The winner of the M&M's contest is the coconut one. I mean, a coffee, coffee nut M&M's. Yellow. I was actually hoping it was chili. But, coffee M&M's, I'm gonna product test it, since I'm gonna sip coffee the most here. Okay. I'm hoping it's specifically how I like them. Hmm. Okay. Mmm. It tastes good. Okay. Now you know. It tastes like fresh coffee. Okay. I'm trying to learn the color they have. Yeah. Fine. Sorry about that, that was my mom, she... So, it comes in three different colors. They're all the same flavor of coffee, but... 
This is this would be the creamer. This would be the coffee, and this would be it mixed. <laughs> How light do you like your coffee? Well, I like all three, so since they're all the same. Question is, do they taste like coffee? Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Disclaimer says you drink coffee. That's why I said disclaimer she doesn't drink coffee. Why is David not here to see this face? There it is right there! <laughs> David! Look! <laughs> yeah! I don't like it. I'm not. Ugh. <laughs> you're gonna die, damn it! <coughs> oh. <coughs> I need sugar. A lot of sugar. <coughs> Drink up. <coughs> I'm getting on. This is successful. I will not eat another one. I'm gonna eat them all. It doesn't even taste like chocolate. The point is coffee. <laughs> yeah, but it should at least taste like chocolate. No, the chili ones, it tastes like the ice cream I had, the Mexican hot chocolate. Yeah, I know. Delicious. There's no hino peanut in the middle. Hmm. Well, no. that tasted like coffee. And well, it we'll needs like, like, hey, coffee flavor. You need like six more sugars or seven more sugars to make it taste, taste somewhat good. Well, I when I drink coffee, I have like a ton of sugar in it just to make it bearable. This is when you drank coffee before. That's ages ago. Yeah, but with I like I don't mind cappuccino. I like cappuccino. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah mocha, cappuccino, mocha cappuccino is real good. I like that. Don't Especially with whipped and calm. Oh yeah. With whipped cream on top, oh, heaven on earth. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, that's heaven on earth. But I don't like that. It doesn't taste good, but Chris likes it. Anyway, getting back to our video, so. Uh, so, what do you want to talk about? Well, I'm your part testing. Well, just know I give these things a five, a two thumbs up, so ahead of time. But now since we're back in our home, which is better than the hotel. Oh goodness. Uh, we're gonna have to play catch up tonight on our sleep. Expect Christmas episodes coming soon. Oh, we do have video from Gainesville. That's done, and I'm gonna send it up. So I'm gonna start sending it up. So as soon as it's up. I'll edit it and figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm going to label it for you, those who want to know, um, Gainesville trip. I'm going to create a new link. It's going to be for, Gain for anything we do in Gainesville now or in the future. From us getting there, even to the Olive Garden review, all the way up to... No, not Olive Garden. Applebee's. Oh, Why do you keep calling it Olive Garden? You got Olive Garden on the brain. We did go there. You got breadsticks. That's why we didn't eat any breadsticks. We ate no breadsticks. Can, can we, are we allowed to take that back? Yeah, we gotta take that back. We right, did. So the producer says we can take that back. Take two. Okay. <laughs> we did not eat at all of that. It's engaged. We did it. I guess we should have the way he's gotten on the brain. Feels like a podcast. <laughs> Not, I'm a dry ass anime. We did not eat at Olive Garden. No, we ate Applebee's. Okay, we ate Applebee's. Sorry, I'm. Every time I go to Applebee's, I call it Olive Garden. Oh, well, and if we went to Olive Garden, would you be calling that Applebee's? I'm probably still gonna call it Olive Garden. <laughs> every every <laughs> restaurant like that is now Olive Garden. They do have some of the same things that Olive Garden has. So they're gonna take all this earth and just everything's gonna be Olive Garden. And then we don't have to remember the name of the restaurant. Much easier. I would laugh if like, if like I had a lawyer. If and, Olive like, Garden won the wins the franchise war. Like I'm trying to like state my lawyer's company and I just say Olive Garden by accident and it's just <laughs> how awkward that would be. Yeah. The lawyer's from Olive Garden. No, no, no. He's a friend. Now, so yeah. 
You'll catch me many times in the video stating the word Olive Garden. I don't know why. It's because you told me the story of the guy that said Olive Garden was good. <laughs> and when we went to Applebee's, I called it Olive Garden even when we were inside Applebee's. Well, the dude said Applebee's was good too, so. I know, but I said Olive Garden for, I don't know why, I said like probably 28 times during the trip. I kept correcting him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We wasn't even in Applebee's and he called it Olive Garden. <laughs> I said, we ain't in Olive Garden. But aside from that, we're glad to be back in Jacksonville. Uh, I'm taking over from the 18th to the 24th. 23rd, 23rd, because 24th is Christmas Eve. So, 23rd. Yes, we're making another 12 Days of Christmas song as well. Oh, I wrote the last one. Well, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, yeah. We you take random things, write them in there, put them on my top. I wrote the last one. This is what we're gonna do though. We're yeah. gonna do it till this Christmas, but everything at the end, we're gonna take things, write them on a piece of paper, put them in a hat, and draw them out. Whatever we get is what we're gonna get for that song. Okay, instead of letting people like I did say, "What do yeah. you want to sing?" You know. We're gonna we're gonna draw it from a hat. The Twelve Days of Christmas. Five eggshells. <laughs> That's not depressing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> These are fresh. I just made a cake. That's number one. <laughs> mm. I can imagine it now. Just I get five eggshells. Like, look, I bet this cousin right here is eggshells for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I told you. Eggshells. Do you remember that hair I donated to Locks of Love? <laughs> That's what's in the box. <laughs> oh boy! I can expand my goatee times 10. So my 13 inch long of hair I donated to Locks of Love two years ago. It's there and all nice and fresh. And you yeah. thought that somebody made a wig out of it. Actually, I did donate 13 inches of hair to Locks of Love and they said they could get three wigs out of it. And I asked for nothing in return. Sea Sparkles Corner presents Conversation with Sea Sparkle and Chris, where we just sit here with two mugs and just talk about things. So, so when did you donate this hair for lots, lots of love? Well, after um, you and Alana moved out, yeah. um, the American Cancer Society said that lots of loves was coming to Jacksonville. I say something for Savannah. And my hair was down to there at the time. And so I told them they could, you know, cut it off, and they said, how short? And they measured it with a tape measure, and they said they had cut off 13 inches of my hair, so it was really short. It was like to, to my shoulders. It was real short. So it wasn't about me. It was about a child who has cancer who needs it, so I donated it. I went all the way to the avenues. That's where they were doing it, and um, donated it without getting anything in return. Except helping a male or a female child in need so that way they would feel better about themselves because they lose their hair for the chemo. The side effect of chemo treatment is hair loss. So I wanted to help. I was happy to do so. All right, other news. Uh, David does not know what we put, what I put under his pillow that she got him. His magic cards, his mug, and oh, I don't think they've seen the tea set. Yet. No, and they haven't seen any of this stuff. That'd be alright without the other two things. You should. I, I don't want him accidentally breaking that tea, tea cup. Ah, he's not. I put a, a sunset. The beaker. Tea. Coffee mug. I told him to look under his pillow when he gets home anyway. No, so, you know. Uh, this was really cute. This, Did are, you take the prices off? Yeah, I took the prices off the other things. So Ashby's Gourmet Teas, I got his up nails. 12 days of Christmas. The enjoy, label would absolutely ruin the looks enjoy of Enjoy five tea bags of 12 delicious varieties. So under each flavor is five more bags. Yeah, which it contains 21, ba 24 bags I I, I'm glad, I wish they just had the label on the shelf instead of on the box. It kind of ruins the prettiness of the box. No. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, holiday, holiday theme, so you can look in here. Isn't the box beautiful? They have uh, cinnamon, cinnamon plum tree, Japanese green tea, apricot tea, peppermint herbal tea, 
That's like that flavor we tried. Yeah, that, the one we tried at the mall was a uh, mm -hmm. peppermint chocolate. Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea. That's really good. Lemon tea. Mm -hmm. Ginger peach tree. English breakfast tea. That's traditional, dude. Raspberry tea. Oh, look at this. That's pronounced Darjeeling. Darjeeling. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Afternoon tea. And chamomile herbal tea. And here they are right here. And each flavor has five of that same one in there. So, and I didn't want to wrap it and put it under the tree because I want David to enjoy having a different flavor every day before Christmas. And, and we're not going to drink them. This is just for David. No, the rest are all behind me. Yeah. So, uh, we found that in the Oaks Mall, I think. <laughs> or did we find that in the Tuesday shop? We found this at Tuesday morning. Yeah, we found that at the Tuesday morning shop. On a Wednesday. Which we've never heard of. There's none in Jacksonville. So it's a really good store. I would recommend you guys go in there, actually. Yeah. But, uh, there were so many things we could have spent in there. And we just had to... I had to contain myself. I could have easily spent 100 bucks in there. Yeah. And I just had to contain myself. I didn't want to come home broke. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, another segment... We're doing what's inside the box. No one. No, you no, no, use it as an excuse to open up no, a we're present. No, open it. So you guys need to comment what's inside this box. Who's it to and from? Me. Well, to me from the. So what did Donna and, and David give me this time? Oh, every, I know what it is. Every week, before, every day before Christmas, there's gonna be a video where we grab this one and be like, "What is in this box?" I already told them it was the hair. That I, my hair got rejected from Box of Love, and so I just put it up in there. <laughs> Two years ago, they said, oh, we don't need it. You know, we never put candy canes on the tree. We haven't went out and got any. Yeah, we'll be out of the candy canes. It's already too late. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost time for me to go poop. I know we haven't gotten any of the candy canes because we always make, you know, peppermint flavored hot chocolate. We usually do, but... Peppermint flavored sugar cookie sounds really good right now. We already did that. We well, got candy canes, just smush them in a plastic Crush bag. It. Yeah, and then just put we them on We did that already. Oh, that's right. You weren't here. I wasn't here. Well, you missed out on a lot. It's not my fault. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at this. <laughs> it's almost time. <laughs> but anyway, so um, since we're wrapping up chatting about our vacation, we're just having this little chat time yeah relaxing on the way home I'm, okay I'm just go in my room and start laying down and relax speaking let's talk about two vacations ago um so that's so we that, we're okay. going to talk about trop hojo tropical palms in Kissimmee. i'm not returning there really i'm not returning there you always go to? yeah i'm not going back there to this last time okay let me tell you guys why all right three times ago we went there there was no heat in the room. David and I was in there. We were cold, 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 cold. So we called them up. <coughs> they brought in a space heater. Never fixed it. <coughs> As they said, they were going <coughs> to remodel the room. So we accepted that. All right. And then... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My allergies are kicking up. It's a sad story, that's why she's crying. My allergies are kicking up. Okay, so they brought in that. And so I got, I just got sick. I just felt poorly. Another time I went there, I just felt poorly. And I ended up vomiting because I got wet in Epcot Center and got vomiting in the toilet and so then we went to <coughs> Disney Quest and then came back that day they cleaned the room and the maid never cleaned the toilet so when I put the seats up I called the front I went in the front office and talked to Carmen <coughs> I told them I said look the maid ain't got time to do her job just give me the cleaning stuff and I'll clean it <coughs> so Carmen and another maid and the one who was supposed to clean my toilet came in and she said you're gonna get written up for that and she cleaned it right in front of me and she said is that acceptable I said yeah and I said that isn't acceptable I said 
She never cleaned the, that maid who ever we had in our room, didn't clean the toilet, didn't clean the tub. She would make up the beds, run the vacuum, and just replace the stuff. That was it. Lots of times we didn't get shampoo, conditioning, or tea bags, or coffee, or lots of things, so, or cups. And so that was two. And then that was but last time I went back. It's time to poop. <laughs> yeah. And last time I went back there, she gave me a, a brand new, supposedly remodeled room. Okay, they remodeled them, no carpet. The bathtub was rusted. The toilet, this little go go remodeled room. The toilet, if you sat on it, would shake like this and you just hoped it didn't collapse while you were sitting under it. Oh, that's creepy. And you got one tea bag for the entire day, me, with one tea bag. And the heater didn't work in the remodeled room. The mechanic said that told Carmen at the desk that it was reworking. So finally I said, look, you've got to give me another room. I can go another room for uh, that, that place. It was cold at night. So they moved my mother into um, 172. And then they moved me into her room, 165. And they said they would remove all the carpets from all the rooms because it was easier to clean, clean that way the maids could just sweep and mop it and they wouldn't have to, I guess, shampoo the carpets. But the so-called modeling of the, re the, re the rooms was painting the walls. This is how, what they did, exactly they did. Take and throw out the old furniture, put new tiles in the main room and put in new beds and dressers so you only have four, four drawers now for the whole hotel room. Four drawers for two people? No, not enough. So we had to have separate rooms. So with all that, they didn't replace the furnaces. They didn't replace the tubs. And the toilets they did replace, they didn't put in correctly. So they have, so I decided, well, I ain't going back there again. For what we paid for them rooms, I'm gonna go somewhere else. So there, that's my view on that, which I wanted to share with you, but Carmen did her best to, to make us happy, but I just decided I wasn't going back. Wasn't going back. And so there it is. And, um, Chris, anything you want to add about anything? Uh, he was, I think he was there when I, I got there. sick about that. Two vacations ago was, because the vacation before this one, you were with your mom on your mother-daughter vacation. The, the one yeah. before that is me, you, David, and your mom going to Disney for two weeks. But, uh, Hey, um, wow, what am I going to add about the tropical palms or? Yeah, about the tropical palms. I wasn't happy when they didn't clean the room. Ah, oh. uh, they didn't offer free breakfast either. No, at least they, they didn't have a, they had a restaurant there, so they didn't actually. You had to pay for it. Well, it was good weather. The restaurant that was there when you were there isn't owned by that people anymore. It's owned by oh, another, no, no. somebody else. Aside from that, uh, well, I haven't been there long enough to know much. The thing I like about it was the old arcade machines of the Street Fighter and the other one. <gasps> oh, no, it was Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Yeah, that's still there. And then uh, they had this other game. Yeah, but that isn't as good as going to Disney Quest. <laughs> it's true. I mean, who want to go and spend a little plug a quarter into that when you can go to Disney Quest and eat and just do whatever you want to do. I hate to say this, but this whole this cup is very ironic. I have to go. <laughs> I don't know why, but this cup is very ironic. And there's even my watch has a poop on it, too. I don't know why. This uh, this says poop. Apparently, it's poop time. I got that at um. She got this at Spencer's. At Spencer's. I got this at Walmart. <laughs> I don't. It's it's the best emoji to look at. It. I thought. Okay. When I first, when this poop emoji came out, I always thought it was like a dollop oh, of ice cream. It. This was just Chris and my trip. And David was supposed to come, but he ended up having to work. Yeah. He and took we the ended up missing so. him quite a bit. But he was in our thoughts. But we understood. He he wanted to turn some extra money for Christmas. So yeah. Aside from that. Uh, uh, we'd, we'd like to say welcome back to the the main madhouse of, of our shenanigans and <laughs> we'll be here for a while. For those of you who have requested 
that you missed the mask man we're trying to figure out another episode to do with him we really haven't had a chance to because we've been out of town but we will try to figure out another episode yeah all depends on what we can think of I was thinking you mean David next day off when you can uh, usually we always do I have an idea for an episode but, but don't um, say it. We'll say here. Well. Yeah, we're not gonna. But I've got an idea for an episode. And so I guess this it is. There's a little talk about what we wanted to share. What a I wanted product. to share with you, and a product test, and about the Gainesville trip. Gainesville, in my opinion, is okay for a day or two, but no more. <clears throat> and um, uh, there's always stuff to do down in Kissimmee and Orlando without ever being bored. Yeah, and then comes Gainesville. has limited things you can do. Mostly restaurants where we're at. Next year, next year, 2017, we'll be going down there again. And we will not be going to Disney, people. We won't be going to Disney at all. We go back again. We will be going in hmm. September. We will be going back to the Titanic to finish that because I got sick and I kind of spoiled it. And I apologize to everybody for that. We will be going to Universal Studios and Island of Adventure. We might hop over to Volcano Island, which will be opening next year. And um, we're going to be going to Blue Man Group. And we will be staying. We have a, already have a reservation. We will be staying at the Gaze, Days Inn Universal Studios Main Gate. So we're going to be staying at a total another place that has been newly remodeled that we yeah, get this that's joined the Wyndham's family. All right. So, yep. So we're going to be going and staying in there. All right. Well, and get this. I have two rooms reserved and they have a refrigerator and a microwave. You know, you should wear a suit and a tie and like have a paper like this that you like fold up like this and call C-Sparkles news of updates. Of so <laughs> that's good. So that's going to be happening on that front in September of next year. Oh my God, I got caught here about this. Oh, we're recording again. Okay. Now you were saying, Chris? Uh, next C-Sparkle news is coming for this month, November. We skipped it for Thanksgiving, but uh, we're doing one for this month. But we're gonna add more. Uh, just know everything on Seas Progress TV is not scripted. We just pick anything random, just like the one with the hurricane. But I went outside to go take a shower. I, I was we didn't plan that. I just went outside with a bowl of, with a thing of shampoo and just did it. And this is just another Sea Sparkle chat time. This is not answering viewer messages because my laptop's you can see is not even here. Yeah. Oh, a funny story. Oh yeah, we're gonna have another. Did, did we tell them about the rings? The, which At ones? the pawn shop, did we tell them about the room? Yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Oh, that's the funniest thing I ever saw. <laughs> okay. Well, we are introducing. Well, we're gonna have another snack time with Sea Sparkle. Uh, probably next week, depending on when. Depends on if we get snacks. Just anything that that'd be cool. Where like we sit down and talk on the big sofa. We're gonna talk about. Yeah, and, and when we do that, like while we're chatting right here, while we're drinking a drink, this is not answering viewer messages because the laptop's not here. This is just, it's more just us relaxing. sharing time with you and just relaxing. Yeah, and then also uh, the new Sea Sparkle TV, we hear this new mystery character. Not It's not from mine or David's branches, it's from. I don't know that. I'm pointing to her, just no, it's Donna. It's different. Oh, you technically do have many characters. You have Chef Donna, which does the cooking videos. I do? Yeah. yeah. And then you have... And then you have News Report Donna, which should actually be the one doing the Monday... The Monday afternoon, uh, Witchman Jiggies. Answering a few messages. Yeah, so technically you have dance. different... And then comes Dance... Well, I'll call her Geisha Donna, because she dances. <laughs> I don't know. We'll call her Dancer Donna. <laughs> Ballet Instructor Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Donna teaches David and Chris how to dance. All right. All right, listen here, maggots. Dancing while I'm destroying something. <laughs> that would be funny if we had to stand outside, me and David destroying something, you're just dancing in the background for some reason. We'd have to somebody else do the recording. No, we just have to use the tripod. Yeah, but you see, I realize we can't... the tripod right here, for some reason, it goes up. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with it because you would have to be moving. <laughs> I 
I'm shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. I like how no matter how high I put it, it's still gonna show us completely. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Well, I guess. That's enough for this video. I'm about to go rest. I'm, I'm pooped. We're both. I'm pooped. You haven't been sleeping, but. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go sort my magic cards and. I bet after I try make not to make death dinner, anymore. he'll be. Like Scooby Doo and just excited. run over. Excited. The minute I start cutting the pork loin, he's gonna be. Ah! I'm gonna be home for I'm, dinner. I'm gonna have to cook it. Yeah, I'm tired, but that's what we're gonna have, so make sure David has a good meal. All right, there and there it is. And anything else you want to say about? Uh, Savannah says hi. Uh, oh, I said hi. Uh, Shout out to all of our viewers and all of our subscribers and our Patreon. Shout out. I have nothing else to say except for we are recording the party tomorrow. Right? Oh, oh. Ugh. A few days ago, Ooh, Chris, cool. David, and I played Magic: The Gathering, and I actually won one, and I didn't even know what I was doing. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. I uh, won one. I'm trying to learn it, but it's a bit tough for me. Yeah, but it's okay. It's not. I don't play it for winning either. I just, I just mostly play he for the fun. Is, he, he slammed me the next time after that. So. I slammed her yesterday too. I was like, oh, chase deck. Kept countering. I just... And that when I finally when I, the other day I lost. I said, good. Now I can relax and go watch TV. <laughs> And so that's what I did because they were having a marathon on Channel 7 that I wanted to see. Of the Simpsons. And there's a marathon going on right now that Chris and I watched for a couple of days. And so, well, Simpsons 600 we've been yeah, watching. Yeah, I'm out there just call it a day. I'm almost done my drink, which means going to have to time the poop. <laughs> It'd be time. So anything else you feel like you'd like to share? I saw from us going to record the party. Hey, if you like us just sitting there chatting and talking, let us, you know, just let us know. Shoot us a topic if you want to. I don't mind. Uh, any, any topic you we guys have, have we'll talk. a party tomorrow, and we have a potluck dinner party on Sunday. And then there's not one Monday? Not to look at right, And then we get one on the 10th. And then we have, we're starting to. Okay, wait, what? So my birthday, we're doing longevity noodles on the 18th and then the yeah. 19th we're going out? Yeah. Okay. Wanna I want to film that because I want to make longevity noodles and try it. For his birthday, because it said, I did research on it and longevity noodles are supposed to be eaten on your birthday. So I'm going to go get two more packs of longevity noodles. So I'll make a huge pot of them with leftovers just in case. So everybody can have a whole pile like that. We're not gonna have anything else, just not longevity noodles. So, and try to see if we can eat it. That'll be fun. I'm gonna be 23. Yes, I remember the last birthday they gave me for me was when I finally turned 21. That was two years ago. But it, it feels it feels so short. But then again, time goes by. He had a birthday by. cake on that day. I made it. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote on the cake too. But but this year. I'm reselling for my birthday again. So it, he, with the last two years of his birthday, he wasn't staying here, and so the people he was staying with should have done something for him. But it's not for me to say. But uh, aside from that, I don't really celebrate my birthday much, except for to the third day because it's pretty funny. Because the wacky things. The, the fun doesn't. I want to see him eat a whole plate of longevity noodles. <laughs> without stopping, just just slurp without stopping. That's all. <laughs> I want to see if he can do it. <laughs> it's going to be such fun. Well, aside from that, well, we're going to go. We're going to go get settled back at home, you know, get used to the atmosphere again. So, um, we're going to see y'all later. If you subscribe, comment, share, like. We're thankful for our Patreon. We're thankful for our viewers. We love you all from our family. And yours. if anybody wants to send a topic about what you'd like for us to talk about, hey, let us yeah, know. Go ahead. And we'll... We'll talk about it. Like, man, I, I'm good. I'm lucky. Even if it's saying, can see sparkle with a little ear? Yeah, see, I can wiggle my ear. I can do that too when I wiggle my ear. See. Like, like, even if you did some challenges, like, you know, what, we still got to do the mannequin challenge. We still got the mannequin challenge that was a viewer request. Yeah. Oh. This coming week, we're going to do the mannequin challenge. Yes. It'll be in the. It won't. It won't be in this one going up. It'll be in the next lot for next week going up. We will. We are gonna do the mannequin challenge. All of us. Well, David, I, me, I'll and Chris. I can do that. All I gotta do is go to sleep and just stay in one position. 
That's my mannequin challenge right there. <laughs> I thought we'd do the mannequin challenge. You have to stand like a mannequin and not load. And not just joke like I did about the mannequins inside the mall calling them no-face people. I call them weeping angels. Because I'm afraid whenever you don't look at them, they're looking at you. They have no face. How can they look at you? They have no Slender face. Slender man they have no eyes, no nose, and no mouth. They have no nose. They grab a marker. They didn't even look like we can weep in angels. They grab a marker. Weeping angels have a face. They grab a marker and just show their expression. <laughs> and then dry erase board and just... I think that's what they do. They just like haunt you in the back. I forgot to look for a calendar for 2017. You gotta go to the dog tree and get one. Okay, anyway. We'll, we'll, get, we'll go next time. I'm not going today. I'm too tired. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see y'all later. We'll so, thank you for watching. As Chris and I waved to everybody. Bye, everybody. And he already thanked everybody. And shout out. And uh, thank you. We love all of you. See you next video. Bye. Bye. I'll start sending it. Subscribe, I said.